Hey, Jen, I'm Chrissy Beth, and today I'm going to do Chapter 3 of Baby Silver. I wrote this week. You did a lot of last week, and me reading it has made me so happy, which is so adorable and silly to me. So, let's continue on with Chapter 3. Shadow Mew, Sonic Mew, it was a bad idea once his fist went flying. But at the speed he was going, there was no stopping it. It was like the world was moving in slow motion. Even the camera poofed up and blocked the punch. So I kind of as he heard his knuckles crack against the hammer. His hand was chilling. What's your problem, Sonic Boom? Amy yelled. Sonic Punch. Normally it was Sonic Coon. Sonic Coon was not a good sign. Hi, Amy, he nervously waved. I thought you were someone else. Well, that's certainly a rude way to greet someone Amy crossed her arms. Her hammer was still out. So I shivered. That hammer was going to leave a few dips into his face. How is your family? The peak hedgehog had been away for two months visiting relatives. Everyone is needed to help. And I was just picked up Amy's stair tapping the foot. So I looked out at oh, the loud clacking sound. What's with the wooden shoes? He asked as he looked back. At her face and did his lip. Amy was wearing a traditional, was wearing traditional Japanese clothes, a bright kimono with fine, colorful embroidery. He looked really nice. Uh huh, Amy still faced him. She was hoping her fear would notice her change in clothes and comment, was calming her on them first thing. Min, she saw in annoyance. Are you going to invite us in or not? Us, sighed Echo. Amy sighed as she stepped aside. Behind her holding a suitcase for Shadow the Hedgehog. He stood in his normal indifference. Where have you been, Shadow Sox? He stomped his foot. I picked up Rose, he stared suddenly. Things like this are more in her area, anyway. I told Sam wasn't happy about me missing the festival, but Shadow was able to convince him easily that I should help you out. So I for a moment. He turned to Shadow with wide eyes. You meant Amy's dad? Shadow nodded a confused look back over him. Have you not? I met him once at a Christmas party. He punched me real hard and knocked me out. So I don't really watch. He didn't speak English, which is weird. Shadow looked at Amy and then son. Did you not tell him that your dad doesn't speak English? He doesn't? Hey, <laughs> Sonic asked. Not a word, Amy stated that she walked in the house. Now where's Silver? I'm here still. S- Silver sniffled as he walked out of the bathroom. I just went to the party. Oh, you must be a very big boy to be able to go all by yourself, Amy praised him. The white hedgehog stared at Amy with interest. He didn't say a word as he carefully tiptoed around her. His gold eyes focused on her. He stopped in front of her and dragged his foot in a circle on the ground and concentrated him. He looked back at her. Are you, he paused, looking for the right word. Rose, he sounded so unsure. Yes, Amy nodded. I'm Amy Rose. And you were silver, right? Silver nodded as he sat on the couch. How did you know Amy's name, but you have no clue who I am, Sonic Horn. Silver scooped further into the couch away from Sonic. He's scared. Oh, Sonic isn't that scary. He just needs a nap, Amy stared as she sat on the couch. So I'm curious. How do you know my name and not Sonic? Can you tell me? Not that Sonic, Silver said in shock. He had no... He don't look like I thought he would. He's fat. So I face turned red. He looked down at his thumb. It was a small round pouch. Edna had it packed in a while, so he gained a little weight and got out of shape, so whatever. He cleared the white head dog. How do you recognize Rose? Shadow asked after his nickname. Silver looked at Shadow and then an Amy and then back to Shadow. Is three class and he is a cheesy grin? Aren't you too young to school Amy pouring out? That's a secret. Silver looked away from Amy. This past. Shadow looks sleepy. Sonic is wet. You, he looked at Amy. I don't know yet. Shadow sleeps in the future, Sonic picked up. Shadow plays daggers at, at his rival. Not of my own choice, he growled. Looks like that part of the future hasn't changed. Sonic's ears dropped down on his head. He grabbed the pillow and held it close to his stomach like a teddy bear. Hey, it's a case. Amy patted Silver on the head. There are a lot of adult things you can't help. Silver smiled at him. Mama told me that too. You're both really smart. He snuggled his head into the pillow. Amy smiled at Silver. Thank you. You're such a sweet little boy. I thought the girls must love you. Silver cat. Yes, they gross. Amy laughed. They will always be gross. They gross to 
until I become 15. That's when he said, I'll become a man. Your daddy and your muse? So we're set up straight. Now the pillow is tied No, not daddy. I don't have one of those. I like him to be daddy, but he can't. Oh. Then let's go do something. Are you, are you hungry? As if on cue, slowly stomach growled. The white hedgehog blushed as he curled up into a ball. In each other. Let's go make lunch then. She plucked Silver up with ease and walked to the kitchen. Trevor leaned into the blue hedgehog. Remember, Sonic, you owe me one favor. Sonic groaned. He almost felt like Shadow would cackle with joy if he were that type of person. And with that, Chapter 3 is over. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. I will leave a, a link in the description below where you can go read the full story. Following on. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for listening and bye bye!